What's up, you guys? It's Mr. McMage Muffin again. Uh, hopefully, there aren't any uh, major interruptions, and my fingers were on the wrong keys again. Fantastic ways to start off the video. Link grabbing the air. <laughs> so basically, um, I don't have much to say other than what I was saying last time. So this is definitely a, both a test for me and a test for you guys. It's a test to you guys to see if you like it, but it's a test for me to. Um, really get better at my commentary, which I, is severely lacking without another person. Like, I use Nolan and Randy as a crutch, and I'll probably use Lucas as a crutch when I get the ability to use him as said crutch. But I, I'm really, I really enjoy having fun with people, not just by myself. I mean, I love Minish Cap, and I'll gladly, um, play through it with commentary for you guys, because I really enjoy it, but, you know, it, it's boring if you don't, it's not fun to play, you know? Like, if you can't really speak, then it's not enjoyable sometimes. Oh, the fell on water, great. Fantastic way to be a hero, Link. Oh, there we go. Got the big key, yay. I'd rather get the... Oh, I did get the main item of the dungeon. Okay. Click on that and it activates the little teleporting pad thing there. Red teleports to red, blue teleports to blue. Pretty simple. Because you keep it simple. There you go. Waste of it, but whatever. We're going to use the blue teleporter now so that we pop up here. Grab this. Get a piece of heart. Now have three. Collect one more to get a full heart container. Like with basically any other Zelda game. And now... We saw simplistic puzzles, just like any other Zelda game. I don't see why you guys would use this as a guide. This is more for your entertainment, as I always do. Fully for your entertainment value. I currently make no money off this whatsoever, so it's all for you guys. Ooh, 20 rupees, yay. I like that. Oh, no. Come on, push down. No. No, you're just being jerks. Okay. Well, could have only done that, so. Roll over there. And we climb up these stairs. And basically what we do now is we do what we did in the last room. Oop. Oop. All the way up there. We have the main item of the dungeon, which will be definitely very easy to use. Um, this boss might seem a little strange to some people. Oh, I forgot to move the fraps counter down there. Uh, anyway, you see, like, there's this little chew right down there, and he's like, Ooh, I want to hop up. I like this green place. And I'm going to sink down into it now. And, you know, and most people are like, what? But uh, there was just a normal-sized chew there. And look, little jelly bits. There's green link jelly falling from the sky. Oh, wait. I don't know if that's jelly or not. What on earth could it possibly be? Oh, crap, it's chew jelly, as you guys probably expected. Ow. Yeah, haven't played it in a while, but... You want to do that much. Then let's start uh, trying to shift his head towards falling on you, so don't let him do that. And then you, no, you don't do that, you cut, 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 cut. Oh, wow, that was a fail. Okay, ow. So you don't let him do that. Yeah, pretty ridiculous, right? Ah. Thank God for dodge roll. Ow. Okay, it's not like Kingdom Hearts. Gotta... Okay, good. What? He's not. Here we go. Three times should be well enough. Or not. Probably because I'm, I'm just failing left and right with the whole, um, actually getting it. Oh yeah, now he uh, does it a way heck of a lot more. 
only get a little bit at a time. Then you do that, and then you get away from him. The fight's very repetitive, easy to beat, like any other standard Zelda boss. God. Really? All in one? No, 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 no. Okay, one shot, wow. It should only take you three if you're not screwing up your keyboard shortcuts like I am. And then we get this pretty music. Ah, it's very nice. And it's fun to play this game, especially after I have not having played it for like three years. So you got the Earth Element. The power of the Earth and the Source. The power of the Earth is the source of all living things. The Earth Element is the embodiment of that power. Wouldn't you think that purple would be more air or electricity and green would be Earth? Maybe. Whatever. Don't care. Anyway, green portals are portals out of the dungeon. You take them. Especially in the boss chamber. Ah, we've got the Earth Element. We must go tell the Elder at once. Okay. Basically, you get out of there and you do this. You do it all over again. Don't tell, um... Ah, oh, I forgot his name already. It's Fest something. I remember that because it's the Latin word for, um, happy. I love how he's just like, he looked at me and he's like, Oh my god! So, you found the Earth Element. You are blessed with much courage and strength for one so young. If your conviction holds strong, head to Mount Crenol. There, you will find a man named Malari. Among all the minish, there is one more able to. Re there is none more able to repair your sword. If you ask him, he will surely reforge the broken Picori blade. I shall send word to him in advance. Travel safely. You are brave, but there are many evils in the world. Any e evils now in the world? <laughs> See, told you. Great elder, we are in your dead. We shall have him on Crenel immediately. Okay, cool. Basically, roll. Oh, it's his bed. Wanna bomb it? I do. Uh, unfortunately, we don't get bombs for a little bit in this game. Okay. Uh, before getting big again, you want to go in here. Speak to him. Green clothes and a mystical hat? Sir, would you by chance be Mage, the one who found the Earth Element? Surely you are. I've heard so many tales about you. I just left the place where I got the Earth Element. What? I am Bellari, researcher of antiques. I am also a bit of an inventor. You know, you won't be able to get back to town due to all the debris. Here, I have something that might come in handy. Da da da! Bomb bag! Yay! I can blow crap up now. Which is exactly what I'll do. So, there we go. So the keyboard shortcuts on here are ridiculous. Uh, grow. Doesn't have much of a growth animation except for that. Oh god. Oh god. Lift. Throw. Ow. Oh yeah, I forgot. You gotta run and hit R to throw it. The bombs in this game are a little ridiculous. Not gonna lie. Fortunately, we got that back. Uh, check. Holder of the sacred powers who grant you the power of wind. Whoa, what? Oh, oh, it blew up. Hey kid, look at where that stone used to be. There's some kind of strange symbol on the ground. Yes, of course. Why, that must be... Well, I haven't the foggiest, to be honest. Hmm. It looks like a note, like a music note of some kind. Um, in case you guys couldn't gather it before, I have played the game beforehand. I have not played it in like three years, so this is kind of, um, kind of, I'm not going to say blind, because I know for sure it's not blind. Crap. Like, let me show you. That's how you throw it. waste of three bombs now, but whatever. Uh, see, um, A is supposed to be on the right side, or A is supposed to be, yeah, on the right side, but B is supposed to be on the left side, and I'm pressing X, which is on the right side of Z on the keyboard, and I'm getting different stuff, so it's, it's kind of confusing. Oh god, there's this thing. I think that thing blows up. 
not quite sure. I don't really remember, but I'm fairly certain it blows up in your face like, Hey, bro! <laughs> See? Those things are annoying, too. Fortunately, he decided to drop a nice little item, so... Oh, shoot! Okay. Cut, cut. Cut, 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 cut. Now I want to uh, cut all the grass beforehand. See? I thought it was... Oh, there we go. And now you can skip it after viewing it for once. Speak. Kinstone piece, if you want to like it, you know, the kinstone piece will tell you what. Oh, I've maxed out my, um. You come back and see me once you get one, okay? Okay, basically, when you find a kinstone piece, which is a semi rare occurrence, it's not, like, super rare. It's not like, oh my god, I found a kinstone piece. You find them fairly often. I, I actually took a picture of a uh, screen cap of this game one time just because I found one. I was like, yeah, kinstone. It's not like, oh my god, I found a kinstone, but. It's still a nice thing to come across. You're like, yeah, I found a kinstone. That's pretty cool. Uh, throw a bomb down here. This ball. Oh god, no, not you again. These things love to disguise themselves in grass and they can pop out of nowhere. They're like creepers, but like 500 times more annoying. Uh, these bats are freaking annoying too, if I remember correctly. Because they just like fly everywhere and like, well, well, we're gonna roost in a random place. 20 mysterious shells. I still don't remember what those are for. I'll have to check after the recording. Kill that thing and cut, 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 cut. Um, yeah, it's fairly boring watching me do all this. I'm collecting money with having a full wallet and just, eh, I have to drop it. I hate how you can get a full wallet in this game. Like, I know it's a bag and the currency are gems, but seriously, what the heck? No. No, 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 no. No. You will die. You will die by my hand. Not, not us. Uh, Hyrule Castle, Hyrule Town. Okay, so... Roll, 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 roll. I would say roll thunder, but I hate football, period. So, no. I threw another bomb, didn't I? Ah, that was a waste. Three bombs left, and I got a bag of ten. Ooh, it's a kitty. What the? Oh, this is a kinstone, dude. See how many kinstone pieces you can collect. You never know what fusing kinstones will do, but it's sure to be good. Uh, don't miss out. Says you're here for a free kinstone bag. That's right. Oh, you didn't hear me, but they're free for right now. You got a kinstone bag. You can carry kinstone pieces with you. Uh, basically, it's like fitting two kinstone pieces is called kinstone fusion. Da, da, da. Basically, when you ever see someone who has a heart above their head, just press L on them and you'll be able to fuse kinstones. And then you can fuse kinstones. Two kinstone pieces fit perfectly, then maybe something good will happen. Uh, something good always happens. Because you see these vines? Well, they're about to go away flash of light. And now you have to find that place, and it's like, oh, there we go. What do we both do for a little happiness? Uh, basically the kinstone things are, um, every time you complete one of them, uh, people get happier, because, like, it brings them good luck, supposedly. I am Swift Blade, the finest swordsman in all of Hyrule. If you train with me, I guarantee that you will increase your skill dramatically. So, would you like to train here? Please! I'll start with the most basic of all techniques. Teach you the spin attack. First, press and hold your sword button. Second, build up enough power. Third, release your destructive might. That is all, young swordsman. Do you understand? Yes. Ha, ah, very good. You're a very quick student, but you must feel the technique. Just... Switch of rooting! Ah. You must try it yourself. Press and hold your sword button. Build enough power. Fine work. You're a quick study. I will not give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget the technique you can review it with the scroll, quest out of screen, blah blah blah, spin tech. Master Swift Blade. No more techniques I can teach you. Come again when you gain a new sword in hand. 
Oh, so you're discriminating against me because of my sword. Wow. I mean, I know it's not big or anything, but still, jerk face. Um. Oh. Ah. I forget how to do this, too. Oh, crap. <laughs> Freak it out there when I drop the bomb. I should probably get the bombs off my screen then. There we go. I need to switch up my key bindings. Wow, jerks. Okay, well, that's not gonna work, so we'll just roll on the rib. Uh, I don't really remember this place all that much, so, um, what the? There we go. Don't know what's going on there. Speak. Fresh fruit here. Vegetables. Get your fresh vegetables here. Ugh. Okay, see you all in the next episode. Okay, bye.